Hi, it's Rosie at Rosman Co. I'm back again. I just finished uh, the tutorial video that I made of making a journal cover. And I'm back again to uh, tape uh, this video about uh, a new little lab book I have at the Etsy shop. It's called Indulge. It will come in this um, beautiful uh, gift bag that I made. And here is the journal or the lab book itself. It does contain a mini journal inside. So this is uh, the bag and it's quite um, the right size for this and it'll keep your journal nice and safe if you are to um, take it anywhere with you. So this one as I said, it's called indulge because, you know, have a little bit of fun uh, with it, indulge yourself and uh, just treat yourself on occasion. So this one is about uh, four and a half, just a little bit more inches uh, wide and about seven inches long. And the spine is about an inch and a half, a little bit over an inch. We do have a little charm over here with a little bit of sparkle on here. And uh, it says uh, Believe on this one. And uh, title frame here, metal. And this um, beautiful uh, cotton fabric here, it's just um, tied with a wraparound ribbon. And if you feel you don't need it, um, you don't need to use it because it does sit um, very nicely on its own as well. So this is what she looks like when you open her up and these uh, beautiful patterns here on this uh, cotton fabric. It's got some pinkish and greenish and beigeish colors. So a little bit neutral, but still very beautiful. And um, this is uh, what it looks like when you open it up. So we do have a, a few things here to go through. So let's start at the beginning. I do have this uh, pocket here with a, a wraparound uh, closure. And I put a little bit of a label on here about how to grow plants. And inside is uh, quite a large pocket. And you could put some more things in there. And I give you um, some uh, writing labels that you can use elsewhere or even in some other journal and so on. So there is about six of them. And each one has a little bit of embellishment on it so that, you know, Nothing is too boring. And i um, just going to close this one. And like I said, you can add some more things into it. Now over here is a tag. And um, just sewn around the tag. And it has fabrics and uh, this pretty uh, pink flower in the back you can write on it. And here's one of the labels. So this here is cotton, coffee dyed cotton. And um, so I gave you some paper, some. So this uh, whole thing is um, cotton, but I do give you some papers here and there to write on. This here is my digital collage here that uh, I uh, made up. And then I also put some vintage paper on top as well and put some fabric over here. And this is a hinged page, so it opens up in this way. I'm going to look at it in a second. Over here is another tag on the top here in this beautiful purplish hue. And um, a sari silk tab on top and some fabric as well. And um, the um, cabbage dyed paper, which gives us the beautiful blue. So over here, we have a little bit of a flower. And uh, these tags that I make up, I just scribble some numbers. And, uh, well, it, it looks like a tag to me. And over here, I put another one. So it's uh, some sort of maybe item number over here we have an authentic old vintage uh photograph and it looks like um there's a group maybe of scientists uh, that have gone out into the country and doing some research on plants then on the back uh, more plants here a little bit to write on and also more of my uh, digital collage here and then a bit of a authentic book um, flower book page flower Inside here is a journaling uh, card or tag, whichever, but it does have a good spot for writing in the back and, of course, collaging in the front. And this whole page here gives you um, quite a bit of uh, space to write on. And over here, um, this is staff paper, so you can also write on this and you have some lines here. And I put in some roses. Uh, this is fabric here and uh, just some collaging and the word roses as well. So this is your hinge page, and this way 
it will look like this very pretty and then over here is an envelope uh, with uh, some this is from a lost civilizations vintage book and they have all kinds of um, very neat images on there and so i put a circle writing spot here and it's an envelope and uh, over here it has a little bit of a sparkly uh, sequence here and um, thread and fabric collaging and then a little bit here as well and stamping and inside is first of all a little vintage postcard it is written on in um, well it looks like uh, going to Canada in nice handwriting and then a little bit about salamanders aren't they cute the different kinds I guess and um, in the message they're talking about they are seeing them all over the place but I'm not sure where and then this is uh, some birds from a vintage book and then uh, so it's a bit of a fold out or folder so quite a bit of space to write on here and as we go on over here these are glassine envelopes it's actually uh, a little glassine bag that i sewn in half and then i can put two tags into this uh, one is map and flowers on this side and on the other side as well a little bit more yellow flowers and a map and writing space in the back more collaging fabric here and um, in the back is an envelope also with a little bit of embellishment in the middle and sewn all around it is from a vintage book and it has this beautiful uh, porch and some gardens and inside we have a couple of playing cards on this one and a couple of uh, vintage slides one with uh, the small image here and one larger one as well so you can look at those see see what you can see in those and they fit uh, perfectly in the back here okay and as we come to the middle is uh, first of all one elastic here for a signature that you can put in yourself or a folder with some beads and then this is the mini journal over here and it's in this uh, beautiful uh, green uh, flowers uh, theme and then some ribbons and my mother's beautiful crochet wreath here with a button on top it's just uh, the closure is just ribbon inside is another tag this one is with two squares that I punched out and then I collaged on paper and added to this I also painted it and stamped it and so on so I better work on the tag on this tag and uh, inside I give you a little bit more paper to write on so it's all attached and a little bit more space here in this journal so more um, more for writing in this case the journal itself a little bit fabric there eco-dyeing a little bit of uh, looks like from the household goods victorian household goods book page and over here a little bit of a tea card that i made writing space and the paper ruffle now over here also from the uh, victorian book and so this is a sewn journal it's sewn in the middle and you can remove it and once you're done writing in it and then put something else so it is just held with the uh, elastic and we're writing space paper ruffle roses a bit more from the book writing pages fabric ruffle a little bit of a map and uh generally card in the back with some birds and lots and lots of collaging everywhere so and then over here also the back this nice um, green fabric now for the back of this i have another tag which uh, has a little bit of a lacy tab on the top and a bird here and some more fabric uh, samples over here and now in the back you can put one of those writing uh spots over here or 
perhaps you have something of your own you want to put on there and this is a larger pocket and also has a little bit of a label on the top and inside here which is also a larger pocket if you want to see it this way there we go and it's uh, just a large uh, ledger piece of paper for writing so you could put a date a day of writing on each spot if that's what you wish so or a little bit longer letter maybe to yourself <laughs> about 2020 because 2020 wasn't so good but you know you have to get through somehow and just then closes up like this and in the last bit over here we have this beautiful collage this is uh, a sort of a folder and I uh, bind everything uh, with a piece of uh, cotton fabric so in the front here we have a, a beautiful tag with uh, different um, items on it that you might want to discover on your own and then in the middle here in the middle I have some vintage postage stamps some are still on the actual um, paper with their canceled stamps and then some are individual so there's about 10 stamps in here that you can use um, elsewhere and so here we have a couple of journal cards just for embellishment or you can use it for writing somewhere and a little bit of a label here and also some collaging over here is eyelash trim with a little bit of ribbon and a stamping and it's a little notebook and in the back as well and I've also stamped on there together it has a little bit of a rhinestone on there for a little bit of the sparkle that I like and then in the back it has this tiny tiny uh, tag to put a, maybe a date on or so, some special wording and then um, one more plain tag to write on or do your own collaging and here's some more fabric here and in the back is a uh, fabric pocket and lace as well and it still has some room to put something else in so I have a little bit more from the Victorian um, Victorian household goods book and then uh, I have another writing label here you can jot down some notes there and then a little bit about birds and it has uh, three birds here you and some trees and you can Fussy cut that out and put it somewhere else or just leave it here. So this is Indulge lap book. So I hope you're um, going to look this up at my Etsy shop and uh, see maybe if it's something um, that you might enjoy using. And let me just close it up. And this is what it looks like from the back as well. And we're always pulling out threads from our journals, always uh, there somewhere. But of course, everything has to do with the thread. Everything is uh, being held by the thread in some way. And uh, we have an enclosure here. I'm just going to see. Although it doesn't need it really, as I said, it could work this way. But if you do fill it up with some more things, then it might be helpful to have it. So I will enclose it. And let me see if we can make a little bow on this. Okay, I appreciate you coming by and taking a look at this uh, lap book. And um, maybe you can check it out in my Etsy shop. I uh, am working on more things as we speak. So always something new at the shop. So I appreciate you coming again. And uh, have a great day again, Rosie at Rose Panenko. Take care. Bye-bye.